welcome. Today, I'm going to have a little quick look at Humankind, the new Amplitude 4X historical strategy thing that's coming out next year. I believe now they've pushed back because of COVID, because it's hindered everything. Uh, but, oh my God, it's glorious. Uh, I had a quick two-hour mess around on it with a few other content creators, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I have some pre-recorded footage from that to show you, and we'll just uh, basically, I'll, I'll just let it run. You guys can have a look, see what you think, and then I'll, uh, after that, I will speak about it. I think that's probably the best way to approach this. So, enjoy. Uh-huh. As the eagle flies. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns, towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Come over here. Let's go.
follow me. Off we go. Let's do it. Come over here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Understood. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come over here. Uh-huh. Off we go. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at it. I certainly enjoyed messing around with it for a couple of hours. Uh, I will be taking any questions um, over on Twitch tomorrow because I will be doing a live stream of some of the open dev stuff that they're doing, which is quite an interesting approach where they are testing mechanics and testing out ideas with people who are going to want to play the game and get feedback from them and 
you know, improve the process. Obviously, what you saw is very early on in the game. So there are bugs, there are glitches, there are things that aren't quite polished or not even in there that need to be. But I think realistically from the whole thing, from the feel of it, it is an endless legend Civ Cross. It plays like Endless Legend, looks a bit like a Civ game, and has a Civ feel, which isn't a bad thing. It's definitely its own own game. It's not a clear-cut copy of either Endless Legend or Civ, which is something I'm very glad about. I was quite worried that they would either just mimic and reskin Endless Legend or just try to copy Civ and not really improve on what Civ does really but i feel the way this game has approached things is brilliant you start off as a nomadic tribe you wander around you have to basically level up a bit to get the knowledge to then pick a culture you pick your culture you know whether you want to be more science economic military religious whatever you you pick what you like out of the list you go on and then as you go on and you know, you build your cities, you grow, you, you have to fight for resources and things like that. You then pick another culture and you don't have to stay being the same culture from beginning to end. You can, you could do that. You could play Babylon through the whole, whole thing if you wanted, but you end up putting yourself at a disadvantage and that could give you some sort of interesting challenges, possibly. But I, I don't think I'd do that because I'd like chopping and changing it having a naked Celt warrior alongside a tank, because that's an image someone needs in their head. Um, but other than that, I mean, I can't say too much more, because what we did see was quite limited. It was the basics, you know, setting up a, setting up a camp, very basic combat, you know, resource management. You have different modes on your city, which is very similar to Endless Legend, where you can decide where the population go so you can stick all your population in the economy so then you're producing a ton of dust as it is in endless legend or gold as it is in humankind um or you could go with science or you know whatever it is that you wanted to go with um it's definitely a very interesting game i'm going to be watching this very very closely and trying to cover as much of it as i possibly can on both the Twitch channel and on here. Uh, Twitch will be a lot easier because I think the path they're going down essentially is this open dev path where content creators are going to be allowed to stream it or create videos on it and streaming is my strong point. So that will be the first go-to place. I will make sure I link the channel below along with my Twitter as well so you guys can catch up. And you know, If you have any questions, please feel free to chuck them at me and i will answer as best as i can and if i can't maybe i could get in touch with one of the people the dev team and maybe get an answer from them I'm not promising anything the guys are busy but i'm happy to try with that being said i'm i don't know what else to say this game looks brilliant i'm excited i'm wetting myself in a corner i need it now please hurry up next year goodbye <laughs>